Hey there guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Microsoft Lists, two of the most useful task and information management tools in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which platform is the right choice for you. First off, let's take a look at the core purpose of each platform. Microsoft Planner is designed for team-based task management. Think of it as a visual way to manage tasks in a Kanban-style board where you can assign work, track progress, and collaborate with team members. It's great for simple project management without getting into the complexity of tools like Microsoft Project. On the other hand, Microsoft Lists is more of a data management tool. It lets you create and customize smart lists to track things like assets, issues, contacts, or any type of structured information, really. It's built for more flexibility and structure, especially when you're working with detailed records that need sorting, filtering, and custom columns. Now let's talk about the features. Microsoft Planner is very simple to use. Each plan is a board. Every board has buckets, and inside those buckets are tasks. These tasks can have assignees, due dates, attachments, checklists, and comments. You also get a schedule view and charts to quickly see progress. On the other hand, Microsoft Lists gives you a lot more options. You can pick from templates or build something from scratch. You can add color-coded labels, set custom rules, and person columns. It even lets you automate workflows with Power Automate. While it doesn't include a Kanban board view by default, it's much better for managing data, organizing structure, and handling detailed information. Next up is user experience. Microsoft Planner is very easy to use. If you've tried Trello or Asana before, you'll get the hang of it in no time. It has a clean layout and lets you drag and drop tasks easily. It's perfect for teams who need a quick way to see who is working on what. On the other hand, Microsoft Lists feels more like using a spreadsheet, but with extra features. It might take a little longer to figure out, but once you do, it is really great for building tools that fit your team's workflow. It's a solid option for more customized tracking systems. Now, when it comes to integrations, both tools work extremely well with Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. You can add a planner board or list directly as a tab in any Teams channel. It's simple and keeps everything in one place. Plus, both tools connect with Power Automate to help you build workflows easily. Microsoft Lists goes even further by connecting with Power Apps. This will let you customize things in more advanced ways. If your team needs automation or handles a lot of complex data, Lists is probably a better choice. Now let's talk about pricing. Microsoft Planner is part of the Microsoft 365 business plans, so there's no extra cost to use it. If you want premium features though, you'll need to pay for an upgraded plan. Planner Plan 1 costs $10, per user each month. Plan three is $30, plan five is $55 per user each month. Now these plans are billed annually. Microsoft Lists is also included in most Microsoft 365 plans. There isn't any separate pricing for it unless you're adding premium automation features through Power Platform Services. So which one should you pick? If your team needs a simple tool to manage tasks, Microsoft Planner is a great choice. It's easy to use and works well for visual task boards and small projects, but if you need more control, Microsoft Lists is a better fit. It's great for working with structured data and lets you create custom workflows with advanced filtering options. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.